Oh, since you smoke crack, now you're a victim? Give me a break. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about Hunter Biden playing the victim in an op-ed he wrote saying that the GOP has weaponized his addiction. Now, this is totally ridiculous. Look, when we speak of Hunter Biden, we're talking about 10 for the big guy. We're talking about how he lied on the background check, allegedly, to get his weapon, how he smoked crack while possessing the firearm. The things that we're talking about, Hunter Biden, are the very things that your father, Joe Biden, championed when he was in the Senate. Speaking about the laws that you violated, allegedly. The Brady Act, the thing that you are being charged with, is a thing that Joe Biden championed in 1993. When we're talking about drugs and people going to jail for it and being held accountable, who was the main one that was behind that? Joe Biden with the 1994 crime bill. And, and the main central piece of the crime bill was the powder cocaine versus crack cocaine difference. If you possessed crack cocaine and you were alleged to be a distributor, maybe even a user, your penalty was much more severe than that for the powder cocaine. But now you're saying that the very things that your father championed as far as laws punishing harshly, we're now weaponizing, really? That is a crazy, crazy leap of logic. I don't know how you made that leap and you didn't fall on your hind parts and break every single bone in your body and your crack pipe in your pocket. Now, before I go any further, let's go ahead and check out this article. This is not the iPad itself. I will link to the iPad in the box. This is kind of a summary of it, but you can see the summary and the full iPad in the box. This is Washington Post right here. It says Hunter Biden decries weaponization of a drug addiction. Now, this is kind of a left-leaning or full-on leftist type paper, all right? So we're going to skim through this and see what's going on to see how they're trying to spin it, if they want to defend this guy or what they're going to do. I don't think it really helps the Democrats to defend this person. This guy is on tape smoking crack. This guy is on tape with some alleged underage individuals. This is a guy you should just throw away. If you're the Democratic Party, you shouldn't try to rally around this man and make him be some kind of face of victimization and, and addiction. And don't don't try to make this guy be some kind of figure for sympathy. Don't do it. It's not going to serve you any purpose because I don't think anybody on the left or the right is really going to buy into it. You guys might buy into it in Washington, D.C. and Capitol Hill, but not regular everyday normies left or right. But let's continue. Let's zoom in a little bit so we get a better view. Hunter Biden decried the weaponization of his drug addiction in the op-ed published Thursday in which he accused partisan and craven Republicans of using it to destroy reputation and tarnish his father's presidency. Your reputation? How can Republicans destroy your reputation? <laughs> your reputation's already been... Look, the videotape of you smoking crack was enough to destroy reputation already. So you don't need Republicans or anybody on the right to do that for you, Hunter Biden. Okay. And your, and your father's presidency is tarnished by his actions or lack thereof. Look at the border. Look at the economy. Look at the state of the country. Look at the crime going on. What do you mean? Republicans can't really look. You guys are doing all the ruining of your reputation, the your presidency on your own. All we can do is just highlight what you're doing. Let's continue. Over four years ago, I chose life over the slow strangled death grip of addiction, which in my case consisted each day of a bottle of vodka and as many hits on a crack pipe as possible. The younger Biden wrote in a column published Thursday in USA Today, offering stark details about his struggles and the political and legal turmoil he was facing. Biden was critical of both Republican led Congressional Leg Investigation Center on his business dealings, calling them high-pitched but fruitless, and his ongoing criminal prosecution related to the possession of a gun while using drugs. He said, charges in the case appear to be the first ever of their kind brought in the history of Delaware. Well, how many guys have done what you have done in Delaware? How many guys have done that? How many guys 
speaking about first ever, how many guys can have a gun car, a gun charge get thrown out? How does that really happen? I mean, I've never heard about a thing like that going on. And also the tax charges. How does that not really reach the level of you going to the penitentiary? I don't really understand what we're talking about here, sir. So, yeah, I think that's probably the first ever in Delaware. But we'll continue. Oh, and then also the business dealings. Come on, man. Hunter. Hunter Biden, if you can hear me speaking, hear me well. In 2014, 2015, you were discharged from the military because, and you admitted this, you were addicted to crack. You were a crack head. You were discharged from the Navy, if I'm not mistaken. Then you go to Burisma Holdings, getting paid between 40, 50, up to $80,000 a month to sit on the board. Now, prior to this, you had zero experience in energy, gas, hydro, electric, nothing. But you sit on the board of a Ukrainian energy company getting paid 80 grand a month on the high end, 50 on the low end. And your father went to Ukraine and threatened them with not being able to get a billion dollar loan guarantee from the U.S. unless they fired the prosecutor, Victor Shokin, who, by the way, was investigating what, Hunter? What was he investigating? He was investigating Burisma Holdings, the company that you were sitting on the board of getting a nice big check with no experience and after being discharged for being a crackhead. Now, in what world does a company let a crackhead sit on the board and get paid that much money and the crackhead has no experience? I could see if you smoke crack and you were a genius in the field of energy, but you have no experience. I mean, come on. I am probably more qualified to do that than you. I also have no experience in energy or gas or anything like that. But guess what? I don't smoke crack either, but different story. I digress. Let's keep on moving here. In the iPad, Biden said that he is producer of his recovery from drug addiction Oh, prouder. I said producer. He is prouder of his recovery from drug addiction than anything he's done. He said he does not consider himself a victim, but argued that his fight for sobriety has been weaponized by his father's political opponents. Well, you may not say you're a victim, but what you're writing, the iPad really just drips victimization. So you can say one thing, but you're doing something totally different. You're doing something that is the total opposite of what you're saying. And I don't know about you guys, but I judge by actions and not necessarily by words. If the words are backed up by action, then it matters. But if not, then who cares? You're just talking. Quote, my struggles and my mistakes have been fodder for a vile and sustained disinformation campaign against him. Biden wrote. The media elite narrative about Hunter Biden's on, sits on the right. Okay, whatever. Republicans intensified their focus on Hunter Biden in relation to a personal laptop he dropped off at a computer repair shop. In 2000, 2019, never returned to claim. Republicans mind its content. Did we, did we mind the content? Or did the shop owner uh, see what was on there because he had to repair the laptop? Because remember, the laptops were sent there for, I believe, data recovery. So, of course, the shop owner recovered the data and saw the data. And he's like, hey, FBI, what's going on here? Did we mine it? Or was it the shop owner who saw what was on it and then tried to alert the federales? The federales had it. They sat on it. They didn't do anything. Then Rudy Giuliani gets it. Then it blows up. It becomes an October surprise. So, but again, this is Washington Post. This is a leftist paper. So just understand that. Um, now, they said that we mined the content for embarrassing details about Biden and possible evidence of wrongdoing. Uh, possible evidence of wrongdoing. That's an interesting way to put smoking crack while handling a firearm. That's a very interesting way of saying that. It's also a very interesting way of speaking about allegations of underage girls on the laptop. But again, different story. I digress. Last month, Biden pleaded not guilty to three felony charges in the federal courthouse in Delaware in connection to 2018 gun purchase while he was struggling with narcotic abuse. All right. So there, there's more there. 
And again, I will link to the actual op-ed in the box if you guys want to read it, but you already know what it is. This guy, Hunter, is trying to claim victim. I'm not really buying it. Look, if anybody, I don't care who you are, what color you are, what gender you identify as, if you identify as a different species, not even a human being anymore, whatever, there are certain laws on the books. And if you are under the U.S. jurisdiction, you must follow these laws. Now, if you don't follow the laws, there's penalty. If I do what Hunter Biden did, I'm up under the penitentiary, Big Rocks, Little Rocks. So he can't get treated differently because of who he is. And to then say to people who think that way that you're being victimized, that it's you're being the, the case against you and your addiction is being weaponized, that is completely ridiculous and the slap in the face of the entire legal system and, quite frankly, of every law-abiding, common-sense American. But I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? What's your take on the Hunter Biden iPad? Did you read it? Um, how about some of the highlights that I've read so far today? Whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments below. You guys know where I'm at. I think this guy's ridiculous. He's he's nuts. He's, he's off his rocker. But... I think some people in the Democratic Party, well, the Democratic Party, as far as those on Capitol Hill, they're going to back them up regardless. But I think some people in the general public might buy it. Not everybody, though. I think the majority of us, left or right, are not going to buy into it. But some people really think that what he said made sense. Talking about, I'm trying to get beyond my sobriety and the other side are weaponizing it. Please stop. Look, at the end of the day, I don't care if you smoke crack or wet. But law is law. If you violate the law, you need to be held accountable. Nobody's going to look. If you go to a courtroom and they say, hey, um, Mr. Biden, you're being charged with X, Y, and Z. What's your excuse? What are you going to say for yourself? Oh, I was high. I didn't know any better. That's no excuse. High, drunk, sober, whatever. You commit crime. You go into the penitentiary. If you are convicted and this guy most certainly should be convicted because we saw what he did on the tape. So what more is there to actually discuss? Whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.